we're here, another year of the Apple events. It is the iPhone 15, it is iPhone season, friends. Let's get into it. Wait, wait, wait. Before we get into it, I've got a pack. Packing for these events is the most difficult part, but I am so excited this year to be bringing along some new accessories from Anchor. Thanks to Anchor for partnering with me on this video. With the new iPhone 15s being USB-C, this new lineup of chargers by Anchor are just what we need. First up, we have the Nano Power Bank. It's a 30 watt fast charger. You can charge your iPhone 15 to 50% in 30 minutes. It has a 10,000 milliamp hour capacity and this little loop right here, oh, guess what? This is a built-in USB-C cable. It's got two additional ports on the side for charging additional devices. I also love that it has an LCD right here with charging information right on the front. And now this is the Nano Power Bank, which is a 22.5 watt charger, 5,000 milliamp hour capacity with two USB ports and this pop-up USB-C port to plug directly into the bottom of your new iPhone 15. This entire collection also comes in five colorful finishes. Now this is something I won't be leaving home without when I travel, a mini portable power station with a 67 watt USB-C fast charger, two USB-C, two USB-A, and two AC power options. My favorite part about this is how slim and sleek it is. Now to plug in, I also have this matching Anchor 20 watt nano charger and color coordinated USB-C cable that comes in three, six, and 10 foot sizes. Even though I don't have the iPhone 15 yet, with all of these devices, I'm gonna be powered up and ready to go to cover the event. and officially packed in the car and to the airport, we have made it. This is shocking. I'm only staying in Cupertino for two nights and my luggage is 57 pounds, <laughs> what? Anyway, we all know I have a packing problem. I headed to the Amex lounge to get a little dinner. They had a wide selection of treats. I am a little upset. They didn't have any mac and cheese. So I ended up with some sort of fake chicken salad and some rice thing. It was actually quite good. It's nearing boarding time. So I gathered up all of my heavy items and headed to my gate, but not before passing this gaming station. Like, what is this? Well, I know if I ever have a delayed flight, that's where I'll be hanging out. The flight went well, no issues. We gotta love a good Biscoff on the Delta. Beautiful skies, beautiful sceneries. And then we landed in San Jose. Normally I never check a bag when I go to Apple events because I'm never sure if I have to change a flight last second. So having carry-ons is always best. But this time I had to bring lights. I had to bring a ton of stuff. So unfortunately I had to check a bag. Bags acquired, let's get to the hotel. So I made it. Now it's time to unpack and get things ready for tomorrow because tomorrow is the big day after all. Good morning, it is the day of the Apple event. Uh, I still need to brush my hair out, but I'm gonna go down and get some breakfast and then prep our gear for the day. Doing a bad job in my vlog so far. I didn't film the beginning of my breakfast, but I filmed the end. Apple Park is just such an incredible place. There's always so much energy and it's always so exciting when you get there and see all of the Apple logos and all of the employees and everyone cheering you on as you enter the event. Right now, we were all gathered in the Steve Jobs Theater waiting to go downstairs where the actual keynote happens. This is the best part though, because you run into so many friends and you see so many people that you haven't seen since the last event. Even though I've been in this building so many times, the architecture still is just so breathtaking. Every time I walk down these stairs, it's like I'm walking down them for the first time. At the bottom is the Steve Jobs Theater where the keynote happens. We all rush to find our seat before the event starts. It's interesting because this is where the live events used to happen, but now most of them are pre-recorded, which I actually kind of prefer. It is nice because Tim Cook will come on stage a few minutes before the keynotes and does the introduction and introduces us all to the keynotes where we watch live tweets, Live X and update all of our audiences as fast as we can with all of the latest info. Now this is the craziest part of the event because after the keynote, they open up the entire Steve Jobs Theater where you can actually get hands on with the things. And it's so busy, like I've been waiting in line forever. The pink phone is here. So let's let's get a first look. There it is. The new pink iPhone 15. Look at that. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful, and let's not forget, it now has USB-C. 
If you've never been to an event like this before, it gets so chaotic because every journalist, content creator, influencer, reporter, anchor, host, anyone who's here at the event is all trying to get that first shot of the new iPhone, the Apple Watch, because all of the items are here for us to check out. It's always super special to see all of the Apple executives that you see on stage here hanging out with us, answering questions, and of course, sometimes taking selfies. Thanks, Tim. So you. good to see you. Congratulations. Are you going to get the pink phone? Oh, do you, look, I'm so ready for the pink. Like, you don't even know. Okay, but what color Sydney are you going to get? Uh, I'm going to get the natural. Okay, okay. I'm going to get the natural. All right. I'll get two pinks for both of us. Okay. <laughs> so good seeing you. Oh, my God. Tim, my hero. My hero. I'm, like, my, I'm smiling so hard, like, my cheeks hurt. <laughs> I don't think it's a secret that my favorite color is pink. And guess what? It is here, it's official. We finally have a beautiful new pink iPhone. Now we've had pink in the past. This actually looks so much better in person. In the keynote, it looked kind of a really pale pink. Now it's pale, but the way that they did this new way of coloring the glass, like it seriously is so awesome. It's like a matte finish too. I'm so excited. Love to USB-C it. Now moving into the pro version, it comes in this beautiful titanium color. These are the two colors that I was really loving. This left one is the natural and the one on the right is the white color. I think the natural is the color that I'm gonna go with this year and it does match the titanium Apple Watch, so that'll be nice to have both of those matching. Today's been such a busy day, but it's been so much fun. I had back-to-back -back briefings, we had the hands-on events, and now I'm heading to record a podcast in the Apple Podcast Studio, and this place is so awesome. It is podcast goals, if I do say so myself. All right, this is the podcast studio. I'm so excited. This looks so good. Check it out. So much inspo. I've been standing up all day. I'm just, like, my back is so stiff. I need like a little Apple Fitness Plus yoga. Time to record. We gotta shoot that intro. Whew, actually, we gotta shoot the whole video now. All right. How's it look, Tyler? Looks really nice. Nice. I'm almost fully charged. <laughs> hey guys, it's Justine, and we are at Cupertino right now. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite part of the day where we filmed all day, and now, at this point, my batteries are dead, my phone, my computer, everything is dead. So this is my favorite thing about this is it's so flat and compact. It has two AC, we've got four USB ports. Apple has like a little anchor station here as well. Well, I'm, I brought my own. I cannot wait to use this with the new iPhone 15. So just picture this. I can just whoop, whoop, plug it right into the bottom. It's gonna be so awesome. This also has a USB-C here as well. So if you don't want to use this, you can use it like a tiny little power bank. All right, well, time to edit. One of my favorite parts about these Apple events are getting to see other content creators. It's so much work, but it's so much fun. I love when the event's all over, all of my videos are posted, and I get a chance to watch everyone else's content that they've posted from the event. Woo, and that, my friends, concludes the day at Apple. I had such a great time. It's honestly like the best day ever. I'd love to hear from you guys, though. What is your favorite thing that Apple announced today? And if you were to get one of the colorful iPhone 15s, what color would you get? If you wanna watch more videos, well, guess what? I've got a ton of them. Feel free to click one right here. I'd point, but I'm holding things in my hand and I can't point.